Hi, my name is Mark Copeman and welcome to a Being Smarter Advice Lit. Today is all about Office 2010 uh, and a really, really handy hint um, if you're in the habit of sending screenshots to um, partners that you're working with, clients, customers, employees, um, whoever. Um, and if you're always scratching around for um, uh, some kind of screenshot tool, um, completely unknown to you, possibly, um, you can actually find a screenshot tool within Outlook 2010. Um, one little caveat, if you don't have Word 2010 installed, as well as Outlook 2010, this will not work. So do bear that in mind. Um, so let me show you what I'm uh, talking about here. Um, if you're in Outlook, uh, you create a new message. And what you're looking to do is to send um, a message off to somebody which contains some kind of screenshot. Okay. So if you now go up to the uh, top menu and click Insert, uh, you've probably already inserted things like pictures and uh, clip art before now um, and you'll notice that area is completely grayed out however if you click on the body you can see what happens um, everything comes to life and a tool which you've possibly never noticed before I've been using Outlook for years and I've only just discovered it and want to share this uh, there's a screenshot tool there and it's brilliant because what you can do is you can put in uh, a screenshot of the available one of the available windows that you might have open on your machine so for example we have the BBC website here single click and there we go we have the whole picture just inserted single click inside uh, the email um, if we then get rid of that um, it could be that you actually want to uh, put in a small part of a window so for example uh, the nice picture at the top here um, notice that the screen has gone completely white and the black cross uh, has appeared. So what I do, I'm just clicking and dragging over the picture and as soon as I let go, you'll notice that the email is brought back and that picture which I've highlighted is inserted um, and is also optimized as well. It's not massive or anything silly like that, so it's a sensible size to send. So all you need to do now uh, is to finish the email and hit send. By the way, a final bonus tip. Did you know, rather than having to move your cursor around and clicking the send button, if you just type control, or hold control down and hit enter, the email is sent automatically. I hope you enjoyed that. There'll be more next time.